Hey, how's everybody doing? It's Doc Lafira, and welcome back to episode 8 of College Football Revamped. Today we're going to be facing FCS SE. I'm assuming it's just an FCS school that happens to be in the southeast. So, that's my best guess. But before we do, I promise we'd look at some season stats and stuff like that. So, real quick, we're just going to look at like the leaders on the right side and then go into some of our stats and how they stack up to our conference and uh, college football in general. But... Passing uh, yard leaders, Terry, 24th. That's not that bad, all things considered. Rushing leaders, we're actually falling behind in rushing in a way with the past few games, but I, honestly, it's kind of been fine because we've still been winning games. It just doesn't show up in the same way. But Rodriguez once probably had, was upwards of top 10, but now it's dropped back to 81 for multiple reasons, but... Receiving leaders, daily at 58, that's fine. We're spreading the ball around quite a bit. Square actually has more tackles than anyone in Division I football right now, which kind of is surprising, but I do control him some of the time, so I guess it's understandable he's also just a good player. Sack leaders, we actually have two up here, and this is probably one of the reasons we're doing so well. Pascal and Bohanna, both are, well, Bohanna, a defensive tackle. Pascal, more of an edge. Actually, been dropping him back in coverage. That just shows him what a great athlete, or shows you what just a great athlete he is to be leading the nation in sacks right now. But that, another thing, it's just the CPU want to scramble, and we're there to cover it. So that's another another reason why that happens. Interception leaders. Dort actually had two in the previous game, so. That puts him at 113, so no surprise there. Kicking leaders. Ruffalo actually has the third longest field goal. Something he's not known for in real life, but, you know, we'll take it. Okay, so when it comes to season stats so far here, we are completed uh, seven games. We've completed seven games so far, and this is what it stacks up. Terry with an actual pretty good quarterback rating, all things considered, but... When you look at touchdowns and interceptions, it's not the same story. 10 to 13. But most of, I will say most of his interceptions haven't been able to be converted directly into points. And that's something that he at least does well. I mean, 248.1, 64%. This is not bad whatsoever. 69 is his longest. Only sacked eight times. No, you know... Pretty solid work all around. But when you go to rushing here, Rodriguez, this is what kind of concerns me a little bit. Because you have Rodriguez with all of the uses that we've given him over this season. 4.5 yards per attempt. That's relatively good. Eight touchdowns. That's really solid work. But then you have A.J. Rose in limited attempts here, in 28 attempts, get 5.1 yards per rush and four touchdowns. So I think we absolutely – oh, my bad – we absolutely have to get Rose more involved down the road. I mean, also considering he's a senior, we, we've got. I think we got to work him in a little bit more and take a few snaps away from Rodriguez because Rodriguez will probably be here for a bit. And then Terry, he's been able to scramble as a quarterback as well. That's something you gotta gotta give him. And of course, just the the little bit here. We have the Keaton Upshaw touchdown from the fullback. When it comes to receiving, Allen Daly Jr. leads the team. That's no surprise there. He's been really good all season. Only one touchdown though, which is kind of surprising. But that just shows you kind of where he shows up. Rig has the same amount of receptions. Obviously, we're gonna not go as long to Rig, but he has been very good for us. Rodriguez out of the backfield has been solid for us as well when we need him to be. Oliver, another guy that's getting involved along with uh, Clevin Thomas. Josh Ali getting thrown in there. I mean, we have a lot of weapons on this team. Keaton Upshaw, of course, I said I was going to get him involved from the beginning because I can see him being a good player as well. And then we have kind of the rest here. We have that smoke touchdown last game that happened. It's another person I'd like to get involved. It's just so hard at the running back position. Blocking. No one's pancaked anybody yet. But uh, Kennard has been apparently given up a few sacks. But I think that's just where he's the right tackle and I roll out right so much. But 
Defensively, there's Square, as you can see, just an absolute unit to deal with at middle linebacker. And I guess that's where most of the passes go, to be honest with you. I mean, over the middle in this game. I mean, a lot, a lot of mixed stats here from a lot of people, as you can see. When it comes to kicking, though, Matt Ruffalo is 9 for 12 on the season with a 54 long. As we said, that's, that's one of the best in the NCAA right now, but could be a little bit more accurate. Punting-wise, Duffy has been good, 47 uh, average. I mean, he's just one of the best punters alive, so he'll do that. And then when it comes to kick return, we have Tisdale and Johnson. I started with Johnson at the beginning of the season, but Tisdale's uh, ratings were just a little bit better for it, and he's been just a little bit better for it, as you can see. Punt returns, Josh Ali, there's no question we're keeping him there because that 14.9 per return is probably, probably one of the best in the nation, if I had to guess. I don't know if I can look at that or not. Okay, but without farther ado, we're going to get into this game against FCSSC at home. And like it says, anything less than a blow would be disappointing for Kentucky fans. We have to blow this team out if we want to be taken serious in the top 25 poll. It's just all there is to it. Okay, so here we are. First snap for FCSSE. Let's see what they're capable of. And it's just going to be a short two-yard scramble. He was in trouble immediately from the get-go. Okay, so empty backfield for them. Let's see. Oh, that's a good move by Scott, though. I was expecting him to just stick or something like that. But Okay, so I'm not sure. I mean... This team's not exactly heavily scouted. We're going to tackle him for a loss there. Uh, interesting name for a quarterback, Early Williams. Okay, second and 13. They are going to hand this one off. We're going to force him outside. That's good. Then he had to make a tackle. There's absolutely nowhere to go with this. Please pick that, and it is picked by Eccles. And let's go. Ah, and he's going to get snagged. But... That was a pick all day. I mean, I guess that's basically a punt. So, I mean, don't really mind early Williams throwing that at all. I was also so focused I didn't even talk at the beginning of that play. I mean, this is this is a team we have to blow out if we want to be taken serious. Okay, second and eight here. A lot going on to the left side of the field. Let's see. Josh Ali, right there he is. Can't be tackled, can't be stopped. Well, I mean, he can, but... I like to think you can't. That was a good route. Well-timed throw. That's going to get you 27. Hey, we're going to go back to the ground here with a new set of downs on first 10. Rodriguez, I'm expecting him just to power through this team today. I'm honestly just expecting to have my way with this team today, but you never want to underestimate your opponent. Okay, so we're going to hit him with a counter. This has been one of my favorite runs. It gives you so much explosiveness once you risk like once it makes contact with the running back's hands so much explosiveness okay so we got some interesting looks here again we can we can get the first down if we need to but i don't that is open almost picked it was open for a second it hit his hands all right second and 10 here not really in a running situation i don't think and let's just Give that to Rodriguez for a short gain. Didn't really see anything I liked there downfield. Okay, so here we go. Third and five. Let's see if we can't get a touchdown right here. Rig is open for the most part. That's going to be a first down. I told you we can afford to get a first down. So there you go. Okay, so we're just going to do a bit of a trap run. I think this will pay off. And yeah, there's, there's no one within a nautical mile to stop Christopher Rodriguez right there. So... Easy 6 nothing. I mean, they did test us on 3rd and 5 there, but we found Rig open. Okay, so they get the ball back here. Let's see what Early Williams is capable of. He's going to scramble throw on his back foot, and he's got a guy. 
That's Tyler Howell for six yards. Okay, so let's see what they draw up on second and four here, and he's not going to pitch the ball again. That's going to go for negative again. Okay, third and seven. They're going to go five wide. I'm just going to get uh, go man here, and that is inaccurate. I swear, this defense wants to stop the run. Like, that's what they want to do, it looks like. But we still got nine yards. It wasn't a good look. I didn't want to run that play, but I was like, we're a good team. We can handle it. Okay, just going to run again here on second and one. And there you go. By the way, I'm running more with Chris Rodriguez because I feel like power would work better against this FCS team. Okay, so we're going to run a little bit of play action here just to throw them off. And that's open over the middle. Allen Daly Jr., please get the corner. He can't quite get his second touchdown of the season, but that's 37. I wanted, I wanted him to get another touchdown. But perfectly designed play there, just wide open in the zone. This is a little bit more interesting. It looks like it might be able to work first and goal here. A little QB wrap with Terry. Oh, he's going to... I mean, hey, hey, worst caller. Maybe. All right, some HB power to the right side here with Rodriguez. I don't know what it is with Rodriguez, but you can see he's not as fast at changing direction there. I don't know what it is. It's happened twice, two or three times now. Okay, so we're going to get a little bit weird here. I, li I actually like the idea of a counter while spreading them out, just, just because that's not something you expect. And we're going to go for this. I mean, we're very close. Okay, we're going to change direction here. It looks like we're better off to the left side. I'm going to trust our offensive line to punch this in. And there's Chris Rodriguez again. I mean, our, our trenches are just better. There's no question about it. Okay, that is a really odd formation. I mean, it looks like they're just going to run the ball. <clears throat> and they are, and they're going to gain a seven yards out of it. Good seven. Okay, so we're just going to run a little bit of a blitz here. Take a little bit of a gamble against this team since we're up so much already. You didn't have time to do anything with that. Okay, here we go. Third and seven. Can we get another stop? I'm a little bit late on that. He's going to get the first down here for sure. Oh, we trip him up. Early Williams. Got some jets. Okay, so they got a new set of downs. We're going to do some uh, some blitzing here again. He's going to break it to the outside and get tackled. Nice gain of five. They figured it out. Run with the quarterback. That's their best bet. Okay, so we're going to sink a little bit here. And they're they're going to run the option. He's going to run it again. I figured we'd go at him instead. He, he, he's becoming a problem, it looks like. They've got four out to the to the left side here. Oh, almost picked by a square. That was just such an odd formation. Second and ten, they're still kind of spreading it out here. Shotgun look. That's open. Anthony Hayden, 23 yards. All of a sudden, this team's in the zone. Okay, so it looks like they're going to... Run it here. We're going to force him inside. I think I need to start being a safety and kind of watch the outsides because that's where we get burnt the most, it seems. Okay, so here we go again. Second down and 10. And he's going nowhere. He had him open. I wasn't covering him for a half second there. But he was already pressure, pressure in his face. I'm going to get sacked. Okay, so here we go. Watson got that. And that's going to be complete. Nope, incomplete. Andrew Thomas is actually in the game now. I'm not sure if their quarterback's hurt or not. Here's Tisdale on the return. This one looks promising. Tisdale going to get it on our side or their side of the field here. 57 yards. That's why he is the return guy. Okay, so here we go. We're going to spread the field a little bit. Work out the passing game. I'd like to get it more involved. Here's Rig. Stiff arms. Man, he's a beast. Justin Big Rig. Okay, so I, I really like levels as a play in general because it's, it focuses all on one side for the most part, and Terry's just going to run this in, I, I think. I don't know why we'd throw it. Terry Wilson, touchdown. Just like that. Heck of a return by Tisdale set us up in that spot. Rig, Terry with his feet. It's that simple. 
Okay, so it is confirmed that their quarterback is injured and doesn't look like he's going to be coming back in the game either. So, I mean, I don't know what kind of news that is for him. I mean, he was lighting, him, lighting us up with his feet. So we'll see. Going to go with an I formation. Almost power formation. I mean, it's not really I, but what, either way, just going to try to hit a guy over the middle and it's dropped. Okay, so I'm just going to drop Pascal back in coverage. Kind of a dual athlete here. They're just going to hit a guy over the middle. I'm going to allow that because that means fourth and four. Okay, so we still have four minutes left after that. So let's see if we can get even more points on the board here. Daly Jr. available. That's going to be a first down. I'm going to go with another counter here. I'm kind of in love with the counter for the most part. I mean, other if you don't get stuck on your own lineman, it's typically pretty good. Okay, here we are on second and eight. That's open. Hit him with a juke. Ah, I tried to hit him with a juke. Couldn't quite. Okay, here we are just to run. I should be looking to try to score, maybe keep it in the air and try to score as often as possible. But, you know, at the same regard, I kind of want to get all facets of the game going. Okay, second and five. Let's see if we can't do anything. This is going to be a scramble. And we got it. So the name of this play is P.A. Smash, but there's absolutely no way this is... I mean, I guess it's kind of a play-action play with that step forward with Terry. But who are you fooling, really? Okay, we're going to actually run the ball here with Rodriguez. This is kind of a counter, but I did want to go up the middle here. Short gain. Okay, again, we're kind of spreading them out, making them guess what we're going to do here. But it's going to be a run to the inside, and that's going to be Chris Rodriguez's third touchdown of the game. I think what we'll do is we'll take him out in the second half and actually put A.J. Rose in and see what he can do as well. Give him a few opportunities because the game's not subbing him in for me. So Brad Nestler just said he was surprised at how lopsided this score was. Uh, I mean, does he not know the incentive here? I don't guess, but 20 yards. Okay, so here we go, second and 10. That, that's, uh, I almost picked that. I almost had the angle, not quite. Third and 10. Okay, third and 10. Let's see. They're just going to go four verts, and it's a fumble. And Bohanna recovers it. Let's see if this isn't a pass. I, I mean, the tuck rule might have gave them that in the NFL, but I think that's a fumble. Okay, so now we have the ball in threatening position again here. Nowhere to go. Terry going to take off, gain seven. He's been good with his feet. Okay, so here we go. Just going to try to get slants with the first down here. And that should have waited. I should have waited. I think we'll just take the field goal. Okay, so let's see if Matt Ruffalo can hit this one. And this one looks dead on. And he's got it. So 31 to 3 going into half. Probably could have scored before the half. Didn't want to take any unnecessary chances, though. Okay, so no backfield to start the second half here. And that's somewhat open for Rig. Just playing himself a good eight yards. Okay, so we have put Rose in the game, so we'll see what he's capable of in the second half here. Not going anywhere that time. Okay, so third and five. We'll see who gets open here. Somebody's got to get open. Man, that's almost picked. That's pretty good defense. I, I can't lie. They're going five wide, so let's just go back in coverage and make sure we don't give up anything. He's going to throw that. Turn around and interpick inter -pick that. Yeah, interpick it. Exactly. Second and ten. I don't know what. See, I really don't know what this team's going to do. They're not running the ball. I guess they're too far behind at this point. And sacked Pascal. The NCAA leader just keeps getting more and more. I wonder why. They're so athletic. The running back had to pick up the inside, left the outside open, and there's Pascal. All right, so we're basically just going to cover the first down marker. And this is a screen pass all day, every day. And they are going nowhere with this one as well. Okay, second and ten here. We're going to give Rose some love with a screen pass. We'll just see what happens here. He's he's open. He's open. If we can 
break the corner there, not quite, but yeah, 36 yards for Rose on the play. We're going to give Rose a counter here, even though, I mean, we kind of have the numbers on the left side, but we'll see. No, he's going to get slung down. Okay, so we're going to run some interesting slants here. Could be very promising, we'll see. Upshaw also up the middle. If he doesn't turn around, it's a touchdown. Yep. I was hoping the guy covering Ali didn't turn around, and that would be an easy touchdown, and it was. As you can see from the replay here, I was like, he's really not going to turn around in time. I'm just going to throw this. I mean, it's always a risk, but when you're up 31-3, you can afford to take a few. Okay, they're just going to spread it out. I think they're just going to stick to throwing the ball, honestly. And it's almost picked off twice. Okay, again, I mean, they've abandoned the run. I, we've played so many people, it's just abandoned the run for the most part here. He's going to get sacked. Nowhere to go with it. I mean, imagine being a backup quarterback thrown into this situation on the road in Lexington. Third and 13, I'm not really sure what to expect with that formation. They're just going to throw it underneath. Yeah, this, obviously nothing going their way. All right, so again, we're just going to keep the hammer down, just pedal to the metal again. Rig is open. It's hard to run the ball because the passing game has been so open today. Okay, so we are going to try a run here just to see what happens with Rose. And goodness sakes, man, we can't get anything going on the ground. It's crazy. All right, second and 13, you know we're passing the ball. Wow. The, I didn't feel comfortable throwing any, like, that right there wasn't open at all. He could have covered either direction. It's not good. We're just going to run a halfback screen because I don't, I don't care anymore. Maybe we'll get the first down. Maybe we will get the first down from this. Who knows? Look at, are you serious? Are you, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? AJ Rose, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Have a field day. Have a field day. What on earth did I just watch? We just watched AJ Rose evade 16 people, stay in bounds right here. Ooh! How did he stay in bounds? That's crazy. So, I went to the replay center just to see here if he stayed in bounds. This is kind of debatable, as you can see. Look at that. I mean, I mean, he doesn't step, though. He never steps. Watch. He never really steps out of bounds. I mean, yeah, his his cleat is on the line there, I think. That is so close. I don't know if you can overturn that. That's crazy. Okay, again, they're going to go five wide. They, they, they can't run the ball anymore, I don't guess. I don't blame them, necessarily. Wow. Again, going five wide. And Joseph is right there for the interception. And he's going to get a pick six. From bad to worse for FCS SE. A backup quarterback on a team that's already suspect coming in. They just can't do anything. Okay, so just keep spreading it out. Keep throwing picks. We'll take the points again. It's still pedal to the metal. No matter what, they're going to get the first down here. It's still pedal to the metal. We've got to prove a point to the committee. Okay, so here they are, first and ten. I thought I had a pick on that. I read that, but gain of seven. Okay, they're still just going to spread this out. I guess no reason not to at this point. Okay, just let the clock tick. Oh, man. First down. Okay, second and ten. Just going to toss this one. That's going to be a short gain on the play. And five. Okay, so five wide, third and five. And that is the result of that play. And they are trying... A field goal from who knows how far. I don't know why. This this surely is going to be missed. I'll be willing to bet. Yeah, no of course. 
So I said, I saw the screen pop up on the suggested plays. I was like, you know what? We've had two really good screens. Why not run another one? <laughs> and I, I mean, why not? AJ Rose is going to have over 150 yards receiving if we keep doing this. I mean, literally, not even joking. Okay, again through the air because it, it's been working, of course. And there we go, Allen Daly Jr., first down. Okay, we are going to hit him with a run before the fourth quarter starts here just to see. And yeah, nice gain of four. Okay, we're just going to empty the backfield at this point. And, uh, oh, it's close. It looked like he was going to break from that route a little bit sooner. Okay, so third and six here. We're just going to hit Daly over the middle, and that's going to be a first down, just on cue. Okay, so we're going to run some option here just to see what happens. Oh, wow. I guess I guess we shouldn't do that. Didn't it? Okay, for the record, it looked like this guy was going to tackle me. I mean, it looked like he was coming right at me, and then he just broke to the running back. That's okay, whatever. I will give it to him. They are running some very interesting sets. I mean, they're breaking open, I guess. You know, they haven't ran the ball. I'm just going to send the house on them. I'm, le I'm leaving the guy open. I don't even care. We're sending the house. Let's see if you can handle the pressure. They're going to hit the guy that's open, but it's only six yards. We almost got there. Five wide again. Who would have guessed? Let's see. I left him because I thought our team was there, but whatever. There's an open guy downfield. I was like, I'll cover him. They can handle it. Nope. They're going to go four wide on this side. I don't know. Four verts here. I actually have to slow down and defend. He came. Yep, that's going to be a flag. Oh, my gosh. Here we go again with this nonsense. Listen, there's nowhere to go for you, buddy. All right, so now on third and 22, they don't, they don't go four wide. I don't know what they're doing, to be quite honest with you. Yeah, take your yards. Take your yards. And, I mean, I guess this makes sense. They're going to go for it in this particular spot on fourth and nine. So, I guess that makes sense. And that is, I should have been square on that play. That's, that's bad coverage. That's all that is. Okay, second and ten, they're going to run the option. I don't know when this guy turned into, I don't know who, Walter Payton. Okay, third and five. What are they going to draw up here? Looks to be a screen, and guess what? That's going backwards. Okay, I'm I'm done with this. Literally, stop this. Let's get a turn over here, not another con conversion. Are you kidding me? What is happening right now? Well, it looks like they are running the ball now. They're going to give it the fullback. They're going to score. They're going to score. Okay. Okay, so they're going for the onside kick as if this actually matters. But there's a return by Josh Ali. And there you go. Okay, so we got Sawyer Smith in the game just to shake things up a little bit since this is such a big lead at this point in the game. Give it to Rose here, though, on a toss. Okay, so we're going to see what Sawyer Smith can do here. That's open. Led him a little bit too much. Didn't get that throw out as fast as I'd like, but still complete. Okay, we're going to go with a Rose counter. I, I, I want to... I mean, I keep saying I want to get the run game going, but it just hasn't been clicking until right now. Okay, levels again here. Let's see what we can get. That is open from the middle. Daily Jr., I swear, he, he gets so close to the end zone so many times. Okay, first and goal. We're actually going to see if Upshaw can't just pound this in. All right, so he's going to have... Pretty sure he's going to have two carries for two yards, two touchdowns on the season at this point. All right, what are we going to do here? Man, even that is picked off after the... Wow. Another pick six... This is a demolition derby. That's a good shoestring catch right there. Just turning and catching 
off the receiver's hands. Wow. You gotta be kidding me. This is gonna be picked again. I wasn't even talking because, you know, I just figured we're winding the game down, but my goodness, let's try to score again. Okay, so here we go, second and nine. We'll see what we can get here. Sawyer Smith is not good at throwing on the run. Okay, so why not just try to get a first down, try to get more points, right? Not trying to be disrespectful, but I mean, we kind of need it for the top 25. Okay, let's see what we can get here. That's going to be open eventually. And there's Thomas, down to the one. I want to give Rose a rushing touchdown as well, because why not? And there it is. We are going to reach 73 points, barring a missed extra point. But my goodness sakes. And it also looks like NC State has knocked off number 10 North Carolina. So I wonder if that's a spot we will jump as well. Okay, so it looks like they're going to get off one more play here on third and three. They're just going to hit the flat, and that will be game. So... We are going to win this one 73 to 10, which is kind of absurd. We'll see where we stand after this game is over. But I did see something pop up on the screen there as time was expiring or before time expired. Alan Daly Jr. has a strained back and will apparently be missing 11 weeks, which is the rest of the season. So we'll see for sure if that is the case next week but that is that is back breaking especially consider we pulled a lot of our starters late didn't really think to i mean there's not really many receivers to pull since we use most of them but that is going to be something to overcome down the stretch here but what a day for the passing game especially not so much the running game but we needed this one big and it's 73 to 10. okay so here is the stats as you can see just a Terrific passing day, even for Sawyer Smith at 80%. But 17 of 22, over 340 yards, two touchdowns, 77%. It was just clicking, obviously, as you can see. Rushing-wise, though, you know, Rodriguez got to 46 yards and pounded in three touchdowns initially. And I was like, you know what, let's just pull him. Let's save him, obviously. That probably worked out for the best because Rose, although he wasn't effective... As uh, the running game wasn't even as effective as I wanted it to be, but still, he was effective. We had four different players score a rushing touchdown this game, actually, with six total rushing touchdowns, which you wouldn't think with how good our air game was. But I mean, look at that. <laughs> that is incredible. When it comes to receiving, only Rose and Oliver with touchdowns. But you had two people over 100 yards, Rig with 72. And everyone else just getting involved. I mean, everyone was involved this week. And I, I never really cover blocking, but we actually have some pancake blocks today. I mean, look at that. That's crazy. And then we have tackles, <laughs> interceptions here. I mean, this is just nuts. Absolutely nuts. We needed a cupcake game, and we definitely got one for sure. So I'm happy for it. Okay, so I advanced a week here, and as you can see, our next game is going to be, be against Missouri. And I think we're at home for that one, too. But we have actually went up to 15th in the top 25 poll, so we'll take a look at that real quick. Ohio State actually leads that. Florida right behind them. Um, mainly, if you're undefeated, you're in the top six, it looks like. Texas is 6-2. and two. I feel like we should be ahead of most of it. I mean, it still doesn't make sense to me. Alabama's 6-2, and two and we're behind them still. I mean, we handled our business at home against an FCS school. So, I mean, I mean, we're 7-1. and one, We're sitting at 15. I feel like, I mean, Louisville, too, I mean, they're 7-1. Their only loss is against us, if you want to put, put that in the same breath. But I don't know. Either way, I mean, North Carolina fell to 17, and they're 6-2. and two, So, I don't know. I feel like we're getting shafted, to be honest with you. Okay, so we have some upgrades available for the head coach. We're just going to go right ahead and upgrade the recruiting as much as we can. We're almost to this second tier level here. For the defensive coordinator, 
Um, let's see. I probably would favor stamina and injury, taking care of our players so far. I think that's what we'll favor. And then for offense, I mean, we have ball security. Let's just go up tempo again to even things out for offense. Okay, so just a quick look at scouting here again. Josh Chase, we currently have the lead for. I just decided to throw a few points into him here. I mean, just to try to have a quarterback on the roster just in case. But we'll get Chase just in case. Uh, when it comes to the halfbacks here, I mean, we got this locked up, I believe. We've offered scholarships to both at this point. When it comes to wide receivers, we've actually fallen behind a little bit here with Corey Bell. That's my main concern here. We have offered a scholarship. I'm not going to offer to Gary Smith just yet. I'd like to have him as a backup, though, so we're just going to go ahead and put more points into Gary Smith and just go ahead and try to assure that. For a tight end, we have Jay Harris. I'm going to keep Mike Williams just in case as a backup, but, I mean, we're doing everything we can with Jay Harris. We've offered him a scholarship. Tackle-wise, we've offered a scholarship to Jimmy Walker. I'm going to keep him at 100 points. And I think we're just going to remove Willie Young. He's all but committed to Clemson there. For guard, Austin Brooks, we've offered a scholarship Kirk Wall. I, I think we're good to go right ahead and get rid of Kirk Wall as a prospect here. For center, we've fallen behind on Dallas Houston so far. I think we're just going to go ahead and get rid of him. And let's see. Let's go back here. Defensive end, this is where we're kind of at a crossroads because we have the lead from Marquez Phillips behind on James Hurd, but now Chris Martinez has committed to Rutgers. So we're going to have to get rid of him and focus on this position a little bit harder possibly. For defensive tackle, we've offered Danny Harris. We're just kind of waiting on him. At outside linebacker, we pretty much have Jamal Flynn. I'd like to imagine we have such a large lead. And we're going to go ahead and get rid of Aaron Morales and Randall Brown, I do believe, for that matter, since we have such a large lead. Middle linebacker, really don't know. We're going to go ahead and get rid of Derek West, though, because that's not worth it. Ryan Sims, we have the lead on if we need him. I don't know if we're going to offer him, though. Corner, we have Jeremy Turner to offer a scholarship, too. I think we're just going to go ahead and get rid of Champ Ross. It's been a good run with him, but we only really need one corner. If that, so we're going to get Jeremy Turner if he accepts us. Free safety, Blankenship. I don't even know if I really want to pursue him much considering Minnesota's lead. So I think we're just going to go and get rid of him as well and look else, elsewhere if we need another uh, free safety or strong safety in that regard there. When it comes to strong safety, though, I think we're just going to go and offer to Matt Roberts See what he says to that. Jonathan Bennett, we got to get rid of. We tried to pursue him, but George is just a little bit stronger than us at pursuing him. When it comes to kicker, this is where it gets kind of weird. I mean, they have a program tradition deal breaker anyways for Eric Jackson, so we're just going to go and get rid of him. And we're going to go and get rid of Carl Pollock as well and just go after Daniel Jackson, go and offer him the scholarship. Punter-wise, I think we're just going to go and have to offer Josh Andrews because we've scouted. I think we scouted. Yeah, we've scouted everybody through here. So we're just going to go and offer Josh, An Josh Andrews, rather. And I think we're just going to go and remove the rest because I think he'll accept on the basis that we're up by 3K. When it comes to athletes, I think we've offered everyone here except for Ingram. I think I'm just going to go and offer him as well. All these athletes look extremely good, uh, Scout 100%. Yeah, we just scouted Ingram for 100% there, and he went up to 81 overall, so we're definitely going to pursue him. And I think we can get him because he's not being pursued that heavily. Uh, there's Seth King with his lead. I mean, we have a lot more points, so I might do off-camera, just, just try to pursue other players that I see fit. Just try to fill out the spots here to recruit people so i think that'll do it for me until next time i hope you guys have enjoyed and as always have a nice day